Hi dear traders, today is Tuesday, July 12th and I am pleased to see you online with a fresh market review prepared for InstaForex. What interesting news has happened lately? My trading idea for gold worked out well yesterday, so I hope you were involved. If you entered the market at least yesterday evening, you could see the bar's stop losses activated overnight. You may wonder why oil prices are not growing at the peak of the economic crisis. Let me clear up the mystery. Coronavirus has resurfaced again. Congratulations! Now we are going to discuss my ideas on the charts. As for gold, I execute a couple of traders having earned 1000 pips from each. This trading plan was easy to draw up, so starting from the breakouts of the highs after the US non-farm payrolls, I reckoned a decline to the lows. During the Asian session, I decided to exit the market at the lows. The euro dollar pair still looks like a torture for traders because it has not moving firmly downwards without any retracements. According to the postulate by legendary J.C. Livermore, the chance of a trend continuation is always higher than the chance of a trend reversal. Another wise statement, buy the market at its bottom and be ready for lower lows. I mean, no matter at what price you buy the euro dollar pair, your stop losses will be triggered for sure. Referring to my trading method, I don't see any reversal setups here. I reckon that such patterns will appear in the run-up to the EDC policy meeting. I wouldn't buy the euro because it is following. The currency pair is its trendy instrument that it could be trapped inside a pro protracted, sorry, protracted trend. I recommend you stay away from the market for a while. This trading instrument will offer us trading opportunities sometime later. The pound dollar pair is following the same scenario. Most analysts, including Western ones, are bearish about the sterling. They say that the sterling is weak due to Johnson's resignation and the government crisis in the UK. At the same time, the, the euro is following to the same extent as the sterling, but nothing threatens the European Parliament. In fact, the pound is following not because of Boris Johnson, but because of the broad-based advance of the US dollar. Investors are unnerved by the looming rate hikes of 75 basis points. Back to the pound dollar pair, I don't see any reversal patterns that would suggest trading opportunities. The dollar yen pair is unwilling to reserve downwards. The price has got stuck at elevated levels. The currency pair is creeping upwards with efforts at such high levels, and I have spotted a trend channel with the bar's massive stop losses. I guess they will be triggered sooner or later, so today Asian traders were selling the dollar yen pair. European traders followed speed. In the American session yesterday, the yen gained ground against the US dollar. This idea was practiced in the Asian trade. Perhaps we are watching the beginning of a correction that could push the price at least to 134. It is certainly better to wait for a clear-cut sentiment. Alternatively, we could trade in the following way. Clear-cut initiative is followed by a retracement. Hence, we can trade in the third wave. The 15-minute uh, chart perfectly suits such trading plans. That's all I wanted to tell you today. The economic calendar doesn't contain much economic data. So see you online soon. Bye-bye.